guys, Matt Klaus Fitness here, and um, just a quick video, um, won't be very long, it's just to explain guys, um, don't be ashamed to go to the gym, and it's a couple of facts, um, or a couple of, um, what would you call it, a couple of tips, starting out at the gym, um, tip number one, try and go to the gym. Um, if you don't feel comfortable going to the gym right off the bat, try um, try doing some home workouts first. So like some core exercises, just to get you used to working out and stuff like that. Then venture into the gym. Um, but then don't be afraid to ask for help. If you don't know an exercise or you want to learn a new exercise, um, don't be one of the people that go um, and ask someone mid-workout. Um, once they finish their set, go out, go and ask them, but don't do it straight away. Um, another tip for you guys, don't be one of them guys that wears like a stringer every day. Um, probably get a lot of hate for this one, but I've got two stringers. Um, I don't feel comfortable wearing them in the gym, um, mainly because I don't feel like I'm good enough yet to go to, the, um, to use them sort of thing. But... If you feel comfortable in them, then do it. But don't be, don't try and be all cocky about it. Don't um, try and flex in the mirror and stuff like that. Fair enough, do it, but don't do it too much because you'll just get a name for yourself in the gym. Um, another tip is don't be afraid of trying new exercises or um, scheduling um, what you do in the gym or just enjoy what you do in the gym. Um, so it's just things like that really and um, don't be afraid of it it can be quite an intimidating place like I'm a swimmer so I didn't well I used to be a swimmer and I didn't my cat's there um, I didn't feel like I had the confidence to go to the gym but I had to do it and my brother still doesn't really have the confidence to go to the gym so I go with him sometimes um, that's another thing, get yourself a partner to train with. I personally prefer to train on my own. I feel like putting my earphones in and concentrating on a set is more beneficial to me. Um, but if a workout partner works for you, then go ahead and do it. It can be really helpful, like especially when you're trying to go as heavy as possible and trying to squeeze them a few reps out. Um, but there are a few tips just to try and get you to go to the gym like Obviously, I believe that your improvements are 20% in the gym and 80% in your diet. My diet is not brilliant at the moment. I am improving it. Um, I'm in my bulking phase at the moment, but I am trying to improve it every day I can. Um, but what I do in the gym, it helps out. Like today was core and cardio. I did half an hour on core. So I did some like leg raises, um, what else did I do? Knee raises, then I did the roll, roll out and I did some sit ups, um, decline sit ups and normal sit ups along with 30 minutes on the treadmill just going as a nice constant speed. But just don't be afraid of going there, um, it can be quite a daunting place when you first go but you'll make friends well, friends you'll make people that will help you out you know. Um, so, yeah, I've been Matt Klaus Fitness. I hope this helps. Please like, subscribe, and comment, because that lets me know that you're enjoying my content. And if there's anything you want me to do, so, like, 24-hour challenges, so, like, eating, I don't know, KFC for 24 hours, I think that would be quite interesting to do. Um, just full days of eating in general, or I'll see if I can go to a gym and try and get some snippets for you guys. I know there's a 24-hour um, place in Bobman that I can go to. Never been, so I think it would be quite nice to try that out. And let's see. And if you want me to train with other people and see what they, um, if they want to come along and train and get some content. So anyway, I've been Matt Klaus Fitness. Peace out.